August 26th, 2019 was the first day that the Rise of Kingdoms community learned about Edward of Woodstock. This teaser image was posted on the official Rise of Kingdoms Facebook page. And if we enlarge the image itself, you can see that from the day Edward was revealed, his expertise was doomed to be misunderstood and not function properly. What's going on, guys? Cheers. <laughs> Today, we're going to be talking about Banana Helmet Edward and his expertise not functioning properly to this day. But before we jump into it, guys, it's December, the month with the most advertising. I'd like to thank today's sponsor, Opera GX. Opera GX is the number one web browser that puts you in control. Let's be real, okay? Sometimes when you're using other web browsers, you'll be browsing the web and notice that it's using a ton of your RAM or your CPU or your network bandwidth. You open up Task Manager and you're like, why is my web browser using so much RAM? It makes no sense. With Opera GX, you can limit the amount of CPU and RAM that the browser can use. So it doesn't disrupt all the other tasks you're probably doing on your computer or like playing a game and you can also do that with their network limiter if you find that you're lagging too much in a game or if it's taking too long to find a lobby you can control how much bandwidth opera gx uses not only that but opera gx has made it effortless to transition away from your current browser with their quick import tool it takes just a couple of seconds to import all of your favorite bookmarks browsing history cookies save passwords all that stuff comes over immediately and the best part is that opera gx is actually compatible with all all Google Chrome extensions, which is a relief because I can't watch Twitch without better TTV. And as an added bonus, GX mobile for your phone will allow you to seamlessly transition from your PC to your mobile device. And everything is there. It just works. So give it a try. You can download Opera GX for free by clicking the link in the description. Okay. Let's go ahead and break this down. Okay. August 26th, 2019. That was 844 days ago. Okay. That was a long time ago. That was so long ago that I was actually happy. Anyway, this image that was posted on the Facebook page says that his expertise increases normal attack and counterattack damage by 2% for 50 seconds after using a skill, which is not true. And quickly after they released this and Edward was put into the game, they then changed it to what it's actually supposed to be, which is 50% increase in normal attack and counterattack damage for two turns okay so they just flip the numbers around that's what it's actually supposed to be which makes sense because can you imagine if this stacked forever <laughs> like if this buff lasted for 50 seconds that means you're gonna fire off like five skill shots in that time and you're just gonna keep stacking this over and over again that would be insane but even though they changed it to 50 percent normal attack and counter attack damage for two seconds it still doesn't work properly now I have to give a quick shout out to Dragothian he posted a video about this I think back in October and I guess nothing has happened since then like I remember seeing his video and being like oh wow that's interesting Edward of Woodstock's expertise is not working and then I didn't think anything of it right because I don't have Edward I mean who uses Edward anymore right it, it didn't even pass my mind but I saw a comment on my YouTube uh, channel a couple of days ago saying you know hey they still haven't fixed Edward and I'm like wait a minute are you kidding me there's no way I mean Dragothian's a sponsored creator right like if the, if, if Lilith is gonna listen to anybody it would be Dragothian someone that they actually associate with so today I asked around my alliance and found somebody with an expertise to Edward and we're gonna go ahead and test it here I'm gonna show you the footage but first I just want to talk about these comments on YouTube these these comments were from two years ago okay and back then we were already complaining about the game being paid to win says if he is legendary so sorry I have many legendary commander and my credit card is not powerful like this and if you sell his sculptures in a metal store then we can say we need this so obviously that was translated this person says gold key commander or another pay to win stupid one <laughs> two years ago the community was attacking Lilith and I, I nothing has changed Lilith has been taking a beating from this community since day one so Rinbot has an expertise Edward so obviously their Edward is going to beat mine even though everything else is pretty much the same they are Ottoman so they have the special unit with the extra skill damage but besides that there's nothing else here that is affecting this okay we have no city skin no equipment we're both not in an alliance when we do this battle there's there's nothing else other than theirs is expertise with Ottoman and mine isn't so obviously they're gonna win okay obviously they're gonna win all right so we're both coming in with 50,000 uh tier four archers okay and as you can see here I'm taking significantly more normal and counter attack damage you see I'm generating rage faster because I am losing if you guys didn't know that is a uh a rage mechanic that's built into the game so he hits me uh two turns later and you can see I start to take increased damage 
for two turns and then it goes back to normal and this actually repeats over and over and over again um, we did two cycles two skill cycles just to see sort of how this goes and boom you can see he hits me for much much more damage and his damage is increased for two turns afterwards i started to retreat and rinbot thought it was funny to uh just completely wail on me the whole time and just didn't and just didn't let me you know run away and i'm just like come on what's going on here and uh he, he knew he was watching he knew what was going on okay so anyway this is the result of the battle okay obviously i got i lost more than twice the power loss here okay it makes sense let's go ahead and take a look at the battle log you can see my skill fired off on turn 13 there's fired off on turn 15. you can see at the end of turn 15 the skill triggered edwards all or nothing which is their expertise and it says that they gained the buff army inspiration effect takes start at next turn and thorns start of next turn okay great let's move over to the next turn you can see that on turn 16 edwards army gains 50 percent total attack that's troop attack that's not the same thing as normal attack damage okay if you look at the skill uh it actually it doesn't say normal attack damage what it says is that all normal attacks and counter attacks will deal 50 percent increased damage and the reason that this is worse than it's supposed to be is because troop attack is a portion of the battle formula that is used to determine normal attack damage so what's happening here is that instead of boosting the end result by 50 percent you're boosting just the input numbers by 50 percent which that's a big deal okay think of it like this if you have the equation five plus five equals ten okay we all know that since troop attack is a piece of the formula that results in the damage output what we could do to compare that to this simple formula five plus five is increase one of those numbers by 50 percent so what's five by uh, increased by 50 percent is times 1.5 equals seven and a half then we can proceed with the remainder of the formula which is just plus five and we get 12.5 as you can see this is a 25 percent increase in the outcome Edward's skill says that it increases normal attack damage by 50 percent which is the outcome of this formula so if we have five plus five that equals 10 then you would add the 50 percent so if we multiply the outcome by 1.5 now we have 15 and 15 is larger than 12 and a half so Edward is actually performing worse than he's supposed to now is this game breaking no I don't think it's game breaking right if they fixed this would Edward be good of course not Edward's trash for a multitude of reasons and nobody should ever use him outside of kvk2 but I think that it's important that players know that this expertise is not working the way that the skill is describing it okay this is wrong now Lilith is known for having poorly translated skills obviously this game is not ma manufactured in English okay it's translated from Chinese but this doesn't seem to be like a translation error I mean why would a skill buff a pre and post damage number it, it just doesn't really make that much sense you know if this was defense and health right and instead it was buffing attack and health then you could say okay yeah maybe one of the maybe they just translated it poorly and it's supposed to be this but it's actually that the skill is actually functioning how it's supposed to we just translated it poorly but this actually seems like it's functioning incorrectly it seems like they they wrote what they meant they meant normal attack and counter attack damage just like Attila Takeda but instead we're getting uh, attack we're getting 50 percent increase in just basic attack 844 days later and we still have Edward not working properly again is this game breaking no it's it's not game breaking okay but I do think Lilith should refund everybody who has invested in Edward even those of you who haven't expertised him many people you know have invested sculptures with the hopes of getting that expertise right nobody's leaving Edward at 5511 I mean they've refunded for commanders before they refunded for Artemisia not that long ago they also refunded for Chandra Gupta and I I don't even know who else but they there's been tons of commanders where they've had to do that refund and I feel like Edward absolutely deserves some sort of refund for this on top of that I do think that they should fix this skill and then players can determine if it's worth putting their sculptures into him now that it's fixed 
or not I would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this in the comments section below did you notice that Edward's expertise was not working properly and what do you guys think Lilith should do about it make sure you like the video so that way it gets recommended to more rise of Kings players and we can get more people in the community talking about this if you're new here subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a rise of kingdoms video with that being said guys thank you so much for watching I will talk to you guys again soon peace